short video lecture, I'll be demonstrating how to deal with missing values in this data data, as well as how to recode a categorical variable. So to begin with, we're going to start with one of the commands that we almost always use at the beginning of a do file, and that's the cd command for change directory. So you'll notice that I've already typed cd and then listed the directory in which we can find the files that I'll be using today. I've also added a comment using the asterisk above so that I have a note in my do file explaining what this line of code does. Following this, I'm going to open the actual data set that we'll be examining. I'm going back to the data set that we looked at from EDAT, so it's just a simple data set with four variables, a child ID number, a math score, a reading score, and a level of education for their kindergarten teacher. To open a stated data set, I use the use command. I simply say use, file name, and then comma clear to remove any data that may already be in memory. Again, I've added a comment with the asterisk so that any looker or reader of my um, do file would be able to know what this command is doing. All right, the first thing we're going to always want to take care of in a data set are missing values. Now, Stata understands missing values with a period or a dot. Unfortunately, however, much of the data that you will download will not already have periods or dots inserted for missing values. Quite commonly, they may have other values such as a negative 1, a negative 9, or some other indicator of a missing value. Now, if I look at the code book that came with the data that I downloaded, I can get an idea of how EDAT and ECHL's data set has coded missing values. So, for instance, I look at this variable, which is, I believe, the reading score. And I notice that the information in the code book tells me that some individuals had, had no reading score. It was not applicable. And in that case, they were coded as a negative 1. For others, it was not ascertained. And these individuals were coded as a negative 9. Now, as we analyze this data, we wouldn't want negative 1s and negative 9s in our data set. Imagine what that would do to the mean or to other descriptive statistics that we calculated on this test for. So one of the first things we want to do is convert these negative 1 and negative 9 values to missing so that we um, can have Stata properly handle the missing values. So in order to do this, I'm going to begin with introducing a new command, which is the replace command. So I'll say replace. And then I'm going to type the name of the variable. So I just copied the variable name for the reading score. And I want to replace it equal to a dot, which again is how Stata understands missing values, if that variable equals negative 9. Now notice one little caveat here. When you replace a value, you use a single equal sign. So I'm replacing this value is equal to a period or a dot. If, however, when you do a, a logical test, you'll use two equal signs. So as I have my if command, I want to only replace it if the value already equals negative 9. So notice the distinction between a single equal sign and a double equal sign. If you get these mixed up, Stata will give you an error, um, and it can be kind of tricky the first few times as you work through it. Now remember that I also had missing values for negative 1. So I'm going to simply copy that command twice and change the end of it to a negative 1. So now I have two lines of code. The first one says replace the reading test score with missing if the reading test score equals negative 9. And the second line of code says replace the reading test score with missing if the reading test score equals negative 1. Okay, now I also need to do this for my math test score. So a quick and simple way is to copy this code, paste it below, and then simply go to the Stata window, find the variable name for my math score, and copy that variable name in the place of where I had the reading score previously. All right, so now I've got four lines of code using the replace command to replace all the negative nines and negative ones in both the math and the reading test scores into missing values. So I can run this, this data by highlighting those lines of code at the top of my do file editor, clicking execute selection. In the Stata output window, we see the Stata made replacements. So there were 48 real changes made to the reading score for negative 9, about 1,400 of those real changes made for the reading score equal to negative 1. This shows us that the code ran successfully and it's replaced negative 9s and negative 1s in the test scores with missing values. All right, the second thing I may want to do is recode a categorical variable. So if I go back to my code book and take a look at the final variable I downloaded, which was the highest education level achieved by the teacher, I notice that this is a categorical variable. It has values 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, as well as some missing values. 
each corresponding to a different level of education. As you know from um, kind of our earlier lectures on data analysis, categorical variables typically we want to break out into binary indicators. So rather than have a single variable that's one, two, three, four, or five, I'd rather have five different variables, each indicating a zero or one for whether that individual has a high school degree, has a master's degree, has a doctorate, and so forth. So in order to do that, I'm going to return to my do file editor, and I'm going to introduce another command. That's the generate command. The generate command is a command that simply creates new variables. So I'm going to create a variable called master's degree. So I'll say generate master's degree. I'm going to begin by setting it equal to missing. So I'll say generate master's degree equals missing. And then I'm going to use the replace command and replace master's degree with the value 1 if this variable and from the code book is equal to number three. So again, we can see in the code book that master's degree is coded as three in this variable. So I'll copy the name of the variable. I'll place that after my if. And if it's equal to three, we will replace this new variable master's degree with a one. Now, Right now, that's going to create a variable that has values of 1 for anybody with a master's degree and values of missing for anyone else. The final thing I need to do is replace master's degree with 0 for anybody that does not have a master's degree but does not have missing data. So I'll add a few lines of code here and say, well, if this individual has a value of 1, that was equivalent to a high school associate's or bachelor's degree, that means they don't have a master's degree, so master's degree should be zero. Correspondingly, if they have a value of two, which is at least one year beyond a bachelor's degree, we'll count that as not being a master's degree, so we set that equal to zero. Now do the same thing for values of four and values of five, corresponding to an education specialist or a doctorate degree. Now the result is I have a new variable master's degree that is equal to a value of 1 for anybody that was originally coded as 3, and is equal to a value of 0 for anybody that was originally coded with any other education level. Let's try running that code. We'll highlight the code, we'll go to the button at the top of our do file editor that says execute selection, and then we'll see in the state output window that it has created a new variable, master's degree, originally setting everything to missing. It's replaced it to 1 for everybody that has a master's degree, and replaced that value with 0 for everyone that does not have a master's degree. Having done that, I will also notice in my variable window of Stata that I have a new variable, master's degree. And I could run the script of statistics on this variable if I wanted to. So I could try, for instance, the sum command, like sum master's degree. And I can see that I have 16, approximately 16,000 observations, and about 30% of those teachers, or I guess these are students, but 30% of students have a teacher with a master's degree, get a standard deviation, a min and max. All right, and so if I was really cleaning this data, I would probably repeat this code for the other degrees. I would use the generate command, perhaps with a variable called doctoral degree, set that equal to missing, and then replace doctoral degree equals to 1 if the value for our original variable corresponding to doctoral degree, which is number 5, is 5. And then again, I would replace this with zeros for all of the other degree types. And I could go ahead and do this for the different other levels, right? So I could have a, a individual binary variable for the high school associates bachelors, one for at least one year beyond the bachelors, one for an education specialist or professional diploma. And the result would be four or five different binary indicators indicating the level of education that that individual teacher had. So this is a quick demonstration. What I would display here is how to both open data, how to replace missing values using the replace command, how to generate a new variable using the generate command, and how to recode a categorical variable into a series of binary indicators. Hopefully this will give you a starting point for cleaning some of the data that you'll use for your course projects.